Melvin Clout brings a distinct history to the Hall of Fame. He is a registered American Indian and member of the Arikara tribe. At the age of 11, Melvin joined his family gospel group, the Clout family. During a revival in Georgia, Eva May Lefevre was so impressed by this group, she asked Wally Fowler to include them on his all-night sing at the Atlanta City Auditorium. This ultimately led to the family performing in their Native American attire and launching a 33-year career as the Clout Indian family. The popular group was featured with many top artists of their day, the Blackwoods, the Statesmen, Spears, and the Goodmans. While most groups were accompanied by piano, the Clouts included strings, brass, and reed instruments. Melvin played trombone and sang the world's lowest tenor. In 1953, Melvin married Margie Terrell. They were blessed with two children before the group retired in 1982. But Melvin's work in gospel music was far from over. In 2010, he was asked to host a TV program called Just Keep Singing, seen in over 169 countries. Melvin also serves as administrator of the Clout Indian Memorial Foundation, which awards scholarships to prominent colleges, seminaries, and singing schools. He is a member of the Atlanta Country Music Hall of Fame, the Tri-State Hall of Fame, and a recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award by the Atlanta Society of Entertainers. Melvin has even penned an autobiography, Thank God I'm Uncivilized. Last year, after 66 years of marriage, Melvin's beloved Margie passed away. She was his greatest encourager. Today, Melvin Dale Clout joins his mother, Lillian Little Soldier Clout, a 2004 inductee, into the Southern Gospel Music Hall of Fame. <laughs>